third marker, you just won the category three. The ten laps here at the Tobago International Cycle Classic. And uh, we, of course, we know he was a, a runner, not as a cyclist. Tell us about the, the cyclist, the win today. Uh, well, it was a great race today. Um, the sun was very, very hot, but um, I came, up, came out here just to have fun today, you know. Um, the year before last year, I came in the same category, Division 3, and won out the whole races. This year, I came back again, deciding to, you know, repeat that. And I came here winning the first stage in Plymouth, my hometown, you know, so I feel very good about that. Okay, you took the lead from about the second lap. Tell us what was the, what made you decide to go out so early? Um, well, I've been training for the past months for this race, you know, and I, I felt like I had the condition in me to go out there and just pull and maintain so no one would catch me there. Alright, so did the race go according to plan? Um, yes, yes it did. Alright, uh, tell us how does the cycling complement or work with your, your, your track and field training? Um, well, I would say it helps me a lot with my breathing, you know, endurance training. I would say it's categorized as that. Um, for the track races, you know, like 1500 cycling plays a major part for me, you know. Um, like two laps or so, coming for the last two laps, I feel, you know, a lot easier okay. when I'm doing cycling training. You know? Alright, well, so would you recommend this to, to other athletes? Um, yeah, 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 yes I would. Alright, um, you are taking part in any other races in the, in the, in the, in the class tomorrow? And um, yeah, yeah, tomorrow is the second stage in Scarborough Market Square, 10 right. laps as well. All right. Thanks all the best. Thank you.